Hi, I'm Dr. Megan Gruber uh, from Gruber Plastic Surgery in Sarasota, Florida. And today we're gonna to be doing an awake tummy tuck. And a lot of patients, they have two components to their abdominal area. One is the fat component, and the other is an excess skin component. So we're very excited that you let us do the video. Thank so. you again. <laughs> <laughs> and she said that she wanted to provide education for people because it helped her make her decision. Okay, so we just finished like the way uh, the left half over here and the right half isn't. So you can see the difference in thickness here. I, the left side has been liposuction thoroughly and here it has not. So we have, you know, quite a thin flap in all directions. Okay, all right, um, we have finished the liposuction. So you can see that the skin is uh, mobile. How did the lipo feel? It was fine, it, it was, was fine. fine. Okay, and now we've got just this extra skin here and a little bit of extra skin here to get rid of. So the blunt dissection is very easy once you've done lipo. It's pretty much bloodless. There's no bleeding here, which is pretty unusual when you're doing a tummy tuck to have no bleeding at all. There's no need for pottery. It's just like when we do a facelift, you just kind of undo the fibrous tissues and push your scissors forward. Okay, let go. So the mobilization is almost completely up to the belly button and now I'm gonna disconnect that so we can pull it down even further to get all of this part out. You okay? I'm fine. All right. She's under there, you can say hi. <laughs> Come on, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> all right, we'll show you the rest later. Okay, so this is the full tummy tuck dissection. You can see it's still connected. Um, this is the key to doing this. It's still connected all the way to, up to where we're going to cut it. So we're going to cut it on this blue line, and it's still connected to her there, like just like a light bow would be. So you don't want to disconnect everything further up than where you're going to cut it, because this all needs good blood supply. So that's what we're going to do, and I'll just bring my assistant back in, and we will... Go ahead and pull this this way, and we'll zip it off. Are you doing good under there? I am. Let's pull towards you, please. You're doing the work. I'm just holding the thing. <laughs> just finished the awake tummy tuck. How are you doing? Oh. Wave to everybody. I'm doing good. She's doing good. We're going to get her up and show her for the first time. I'm going to have you turn towards me and grab my hands and sit on the corner here. Mm -hmm. Ready? morning after our awake tummy tuck and how did you do overnight i did real great i was able to do everything on my own i slept well i ate i walked around the hotel wow uh, able to go to the bathroom no dizziness or anything that's amazing yeah i'm just you know always still amazed at how patients do so much better and are so much in less pain and everything than um doing a tummy tuck uh, under anesthesia. So even when I did a tummy tuck and did not tighten the muscles, which I did for, you know, a certain percentage of patients, 
they still had a really hard time recovering. So I don't know, there's just something about being awake that allows them to just pop back to their normal feelings. Yeah. Yeah, it's Definitely. just really amazing. And so um, you were telling me before about how you look now. Tell everybody. I look so good, even with stitches and dressing and, and like swelling. I've never had a flat stomach. I've been a, a, a mother from as a very, very young adult. So I've never had a flat stomach my whole entire life. So I can't wait to heal because I'm going to show out. <laughs> yes. That makes us so happy to hear. I'm just so um, tickled that it was this easy for you, yeah. and then you feel like it was the right decision for you. It was. I really. That's thank really you. nice. You give you've given me the body that like I've envisioned in my head. Like I thought I had the body. But I took <laughs> pictures and didn't show the body. <laughs> Let's just show the camera. This is you know one day after. Go ahead and like do a spin. One day after her awake tummy tuck. Um, this is the Pico device. So we, we use different um, pressure, uh, negative pressure dressings for patients. And again, this just allows them to have no, you know, no dressing changes. Go ahead and turn here. And this is the um, suction device. It's very tiny. Uh, this one is a lot more compact than the other system that we use, um, but just depends on patient. And so I'm, I'm real happy with how this is all looking. It really looks good. So thanks again for letting us watch your show here. <laughs> Thank you. All right.